Good morning. Oh, snap, it's 11.17 a.m. Well, technically it's still morning. I'm about to start my day. I wish y'all peace, love, and blessings. Thank you for all the love. Stay safe, stay blessed, and stay focused. Rest in peace. First Lady of Death Row Records Jewel Caples dies aged 54. Last Moments Cause of Death The First Lady of Death Row Records Jewel Caples has died aged 54 years. She passed away at 5 a.m. on Friday, May 6, roughly two months after she revealed she'd been hospitalized with eight pounds of fluid on her heart, lungs and legs. She revealed the news on her Instagram post in a long post that read, Attention all non-believers. I was hospitalized on March 2, 2022. Released on a March 5, 2022 went home, eight pounds of fluid on my heart, lungs, and legs. Went back to hospital March 16 until today March 21, 2022. I almost died. Was supposed to be airlifted to another facility. God reversed my symptoms extended me some grace. And gave me more time with my family and friends. Thank you Jesus for saving my life again. God is real. The sad news was revealed by rapper Daz Dillinger who shared the news of her passing on Instagram on Friday. He shared her pictures with the caption, Rest in peace Jewel Cables. I'm sad this really hurt but Jewel's passed this morning. Wow death row for life. We gone miss her. Classic music. Family over everything. Jewel Cables was known for working with the iconic hip-hop label and making hits with Dr. Dre, N, W, A, among other hip-hop icons. Jewel was signed to Death Row from 1992 to 1996. Some of the tracks she worked on include What's My Name and Gin and Juice from Snoop Dogg's 1993 debut. Doggy Style and later The Dog Pounds What Would You Do? And Snoop's Murder was the case. She also worked on Tupac's All Eyes on Me. May her soul rest in peace.